Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I would like to show you very quickly how you can um, put keywords into Amazon KDP and how I do it. I Over the last week I spent one entire day probably going through all the books that I've uploaded, looking at the ones that have sold, the ones that have not sold and looking at how they're indexing and how they're ranking on Amazon and from that I for, figured out for myself an optimum way of using keywords. Now, there might be a better way, but uh, as I said, I spent hours going through them all and having a look at what actually works and, you know, comparable ones with comparable niches where I did the keywords slightly different in a different way. And then I went back and had a look how are they actually indexing and ranking. So that gave me a lot of insights and was very helpful. I was actually not sure if I'm gonna share that because it is really, it took me a lot of work going through that, but I'm, I made the decision I will share that because this is what this YouTube channel is about. So you will benefit from um, one day of work that I did and it was really a lot of work. So let me just take you through what I found. And um, this is, before you are surprised, this is the Amazon, I uh, know the Flying Upload KDP tool that I use for uploading. This is my offline tool in which I put all the information before I upload it to Amazon KDP. So I'm not gonna show it to you on the K Amazon KDP website. Um, however, I'm going to show it to you to, for this design here, how I put keywords in. And what you can see here is actually a replication of the website. It is just allows me to do it all offline and then basically bulk upload as soon as I've put everything in. Now, what have I found? I have found that the title section carries a lot of weight and the subtitle section. Now, you might already have known that. That's probably not a surprise. If you can get away with it, put definitely one or two keywords into your title section. I normally just put in what is on the book cover because um, I've had a few rejections from putting something else into the title section. But on this one here, I probably get away with putting Bitcoin in as well, which would be the main keyword because just because there is a big Bitcoin sign on here. Um, however, if you can't get away with putting it into the title, definitely put a few of your main keywords or keyword sentence that you want it to index for into the subtitle section right, because subtitle is very important as well. Now in the subtitle, I would have all sorts of other things as well, like, is it a journal, you know, is it, what kind of book is it? Um, by the way, this one is, this here, what I've done is for no content books and low content books, but it would probably be relevant for all sorts of other books as well that you're uploading to Amazon KDP. Um, as I said, yeah, title is very important and subtitle. Now let's get to the confusing bit because what you normally don't find on the other print-on-demand websites is these seven categories or boxes of keywords. This is very special for Amazon KDP. What you have here is seven boxes with up to 50 characters for each box in which you can put keywords. Now, the first thing that I have found, it doesn't make a difference if you have, you could have Bitcoin here and then you can have Bitcoin again here and here and it doesn't make a difference in terms of ranking if you have it three times or just once so what i would do i would not waste my space just use it once okay um that is one thing so duplication doesn't help you the other thing is what i found as well if you have something like bitcoin bitcoin crypto investor amazon basically rearranges these words so what happens if someone is looking just for bitcoin your book will be found if someone's looking for a crypto investor, your book will be found as well. So the person doesn't, the customer doesn't need to put in Bitcoin crypto investor for you to show, um, for you to show up. You can just put in Bitcoin crypto investor, and then for all these three words, your book will show up. Yeah, or for a combination for any combination of these. So if a potential customer is looking for just any combination of these words, your book will show up, and that is very valuable information. That is what I found out. And um, it is very useful to know because I, I always struggled with, you know, what do I do? Do I actually put my keyword sentence in here or not? Or what do I do? Also, obviously, when you put more words into each box, like investing, yeah, maybe one or two more, for each of these, your book will index. And that is very important. It just means that indexing just means when someone's putting in that word into the search bar in Amazon, your book will show up. Now, it could rank somewhere at the end, but it will still show up, which is important. So the more keywords you have in here, for the more keywords your book will index. What I also found is, however, if you have a longer sentence in one box, 
and I compared it to similar niches that I've had uploaded. But if you have it longer, longer, a longer sentence in here, and then if you just pick one of these and you search for it on Amazon, your book might rank further back. Yeah, I, I don't know why that is the case, but it will rank higher if I just have the word Bitcoin. Okay, now that is because I guess it is because someone would, someone who would actually be looking for Bitcoin crypto investor, then it will again rank higher. Yeah, because that person looked for exactly that sentence. But if you have Bitcoin crypto investor as main sentence in here, and the person is only looking for Bitcoin, yeah, your, your book is indexed, but it will not be found at one of the first pages probably. Okay, so what I normally do, and that is why I recommend good keyword research. So for example, if you've done good keyword research, like for example, on um, BookBolt here, yeah, or any other KDP keyword research tool, but you could you could probably use any any keyword research tool for that because it's mainly um, it just shows shows you what is selling on Amazon yeah so what what I would normally do I do my keyword research I then know for which keywords uh, which keywords the customers are putting in and which keywords people are putting in and the books that are actually selling which keywords they have if from that I have certain keywords and also longer tail keywords then I will put them in. So just let's assuming um, crypto investing and maybe blockchain, I don't know. I, I just make something up now. And then I've got these longer tail keywords here. And just assuming these are the three long tail keywords, I know that is what I want them to be found for. And that is what actually people are looking for because people are looking for longer tail keywords. What I will then still do, I will still use these other boxes here and put something in that I want the book to index for. That is what I'm going to do now. And that is what has helped me to rank and in to index for many words, but also to rank higher here. Yeah. Um, what else? Best, I don't know. Crypto. Yeah, yeah, just assuming these would be the keywords I want. And then, um, yeah, let's say I would have on my th first three boxes, for example, the long tail keywords that I want, because these are the keywords that are researched. Yeah, the keyword sentences that are researched. People are looking for that. I want my book to rank for these and also to index for any of these keywords. And then I will still, just assuming these are just the ones that I need, and I will still then use some other ones that may just generate some additional sales because someone might type in cryptocurrency and might see it and then buy it. But very importantly, do your good keyword research and um, then that should help. So in summary, titles, subtitle, they're the most important ones. That is what I found. If you can't put your keyword in the title, put it into the subtitle, definitely. Description, I haven't found a major difference. I wouldn't I would normally put some keywords in the description, but I haven't found that it helped me in terms of ranking and indexing. And then in regards to here, you can use all 50 characters, yeah, but only if it is relevant, I think. Only if it is part of the keyword that you want to be found for, yeah, when you've done your good keyword research. If there is a combination of words you want to be found for, by all means, put it into one box. Um, what it might mean if you put them all in one box, it might mean that for if then someone just types in one word, your book might rank a bit lower. But the more you put in, for the more you will be indexed for. So you will be somewhere on that marketplace and you will be found, but you might rank at the back. So that is just showing the importance of good keyword research. Try to put in, if you put sentences in, only put the sentences in that you can get from the research tool here yeah? and then you should definitely rank high for for exactly that sentence you will still rank for the other key keywords in here but not that high possibly and duplication doesn't help and that is in summary what i found and it helps me in so far that i am very sure now how i need to put these keywords in here so long tail keywords only if i've done my research and i know that 
these are definitely the keywords I want. If um, and then yeah, I just fill the, the other ones in with some keywords that just work and that just help me. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was useful. Um, if you have any other tips about keywords on Amazon KDP, let me know. And um, yeah, if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, let's um, subscribe to the channel and give me a like, please. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.